The Korea Aerospace Research Institute established in 1989, is the Aeronautics and Space Agency of Republic of Korea. Its main laboratories are located in Daejeon, in the Didiok Science Town. KARI's vision is to continue building upon indigenous launch capabilities, strengthen national safety and public service, industrialize satellite information and applications technology, explore the moon, and develop environmentally friendly and highly efficient cutting-edge aircraft and core aerospace technology. Current projects include the KSLV-2 launcher. Past projects include the 1999 Ararang-1 satellite. The agency was founded in 1989. Prior to South Korea's entry into the IAE in 1992, it focused primarily on aerospace technology. Topic. Background CARI began on October 10, 1989 as a National Aerospace Research Institute with the purpose of contributing to sound development of the national economy and enhancement of people's lives through a new exploration, technological advancement, development, and dissemination in the field of aerospace science and technology. CARI began in 1989 to develop its own rockets. It produced the KSRI and KSR-2, one- and two-stage rockets in the early 1990s. In December 1997 it began development of a LOX, kerosene rocket engine. Kari wished to develop satellite launch capability. A test launch of the KSR-3 took place in 2002. Topic timeline 1989.10 Establishment of CARI affiliated to KIMM Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials 1990.12 Cornerstone – Laying ceremony for the building of the Institute 1992.07 Authorized as the inspection agency, designated by the AIDP Law 1992.10 Completion of construction of the research building complex 1993.04 Experimental aircraft Kachi development the 9th of June 1993 launch of single stage sounding rocket KSRI 1993.09 Expo unmanned airship development 1995 Korea launched its first communications satellite named Koreaza asterisk 1996.11 independent organization as Kari, an incorporated foundation 1997.03 twin engine composite aircraft development 1997.04 authorized as the type certification agency, designated by the aviation law 1998.06 launch of two-stage sounding rocket KSR-2 1999.01 change of type Certification Agency 1999.12 Launch of Korea Multiple Purpose Satellite KOMPSATI, also known as Ararang I 2001.01 Change of name to Korea Aerospace Research Institute 2001.09 Canard Aircraft Development 2002.11 Launch of Liquid Propellant Rocket KSR 3 2003.05 Cornerstone, Laying Ceremony for the Aircraft Flight Test Center 2003.08 Cornerstone, Laying Ceremony for the NARO Space Center 2003.09 launch of STSAT Science and Technology Satellite minus one 2003.10 Multipurpose Stratosphere Unmanned Airship Development 2004.10 Completion of Jeju Island Tracking Station 2005.01 Installation of South Pole Ground Station 2006.07 Launch of Korea Multipurpose Satellite KOMPSAT2 also known as Ararang 2 2008.03 Transfer to KRCF Korea Research Council of Fundamental Science O and Technology 2008.04 The first Korean astronaut 2008.12 Medium Aerostats Development 2009.06 Completion of NARO Space Center 2009.08 The first launch of Korea's first space launch vehicle KSLV-1 2010.06 Launch of COMS 2010.06 The second launch of Korea's first space launch vehicle KSLV-1 2011.11 Smart UAV Development 2012.05 Launch of Korea Multipurpose Satellite KOMPSAT minus three 2012.06 Korean Utility Helicopter Surian Development 2013.01 The third launch of Korea's first space launch vehicle KSLV-1 2013.08 Launch of Korea Multipurpose Satellite KOMPSAT minus five 2013.11 STSAT Science and Technology Satellite minus three Development 2013.124 KC100 Development 2014. 
17.05 OPV development 2014 research on lunar exploration cooperation began 2015.03 launch of Korea multipurpose satellite KOMPSAT 3A 2015.08 EAV3 development 2015.12 the completion of KSLVII's engine combustion test facility 2016 12 designated as a national space development agency Topic. Aerospace developments Kari is also developing unmanned aerial vehicles, high altitude airships, a next generation multipurpose helicopter project, next generation medium satellite, and a lunar exploration project. In addition, several satellites, including the KOMPSAT also known as Ararang series, the COMS communication, ocean and meteorological satellite, and the STSAT science and technology satellite, are developed, operated, or under development by CARI. On January 30, 2013, they launched a satellite into space from their own soil for the first time. Topic: <laughs> Mission and major functions. Perform basic and applied studies in aerospace technology development of leading edge technology aircraft, aircraft evaluation and testing, and support of national development projects research and development of comprehensive system and core technology of aircraft, satellite, and space launch vehicle support national aerospace development policy establishment, distribution, and diffusion of aerospace technology information development and KSLV career launching of space launch vehicles and operation of space center perform government delegated tasks and support policy development development of technology technology for assuring aerospace safety and quality, and maintenance of legal quality certification and internationally recognized certification systems. Establishment and support of the National Aerospace Development Policy and dissemination of knowledge on aerospace technology support industries and transfer technology joint utilization of testing facilities and equipment with industries and academia, and training of scientists and engineers. Transfer of technology from research and development and provisions for commercialization support. Topic. Space launch vehicles Topic. KSLV-1 and KSLV-2 KSLV-1 launched on August 25, 2009. It was originally a cluster indigenous liquid KSR-3 rockets with a solid propellant to form a multi-stage launcher. However, Kari experienced more difficulties than expected in SLV development, because it required much stronger propellant power than KSR-3 possessed to launch a satellite into orbit. After several failed attempts, Kari turned to Russia's Khrunichev Design Bureau for assistance in developing a liquid propellant rocket engine for the KSLV-1 as well as for cooperation in the construction of the launch facility at the Naro Space Center. KSLV-1 was transformed into a two-stage launcher, 33 meters high with a maximum diameter of 2.9 meters. It has a mass of 140 tons at lift-off. The first stage of the launcher was derived from the Russian URM-1 universal rocket module developed by Khrunichev. The second stage of the launcher was a solid kick motor developed by Korea, which includes the inertial navigation system, the power, control, and flight safety systems, plus the nose fairing. KSLV-1 was the most prominent project of the whole South Korean space development program and was successfully launched in late January 2013. South Korea is planning to launch its next rocket KSLV-2 by year 2019. The first stage of its rocket will have four clustered engines, each of which will have a 75 metric ton thrust. It was announced that Kari has already developed few prototypes of a 75 metric ton thrust engine. Topic. KSLV-2 TLV The test launch vehicle TLV is a two-stages rocket used to test the performance of the 75 tons and 7 tons thrust rocket engines that will power the KSLV-2. The TLV is 25.8 meters in length, 2.6 meters in diameter, and with a mass of 52.1 tons. The main stage Kerolox engine is fully gimballed. Topic: <laughs> KRE-075 engine. Topic. Test flight number one The first TLV was launched from the Naro Space Center in Goong, South Jeolla Province. 
The main objective of the first suborbital flight was for the single-stage rocket's main engine to burn 140 seconds, reaching a 100 km altitude before splashing down in the sea between Jeju Island and Okinawa Island. The maiden flight was first delayed from October 25, 2018, for two months, due to abnormal readings detected in the rocket propellant pressurization system. The test flight was then rescheduled for November 28, 2018, at 1600 kst UTC plus 9. No payload is to be placed into orbit. The launch of the first TLV, while deemed successful with its main engine burning for 151 seconds in a 10 minute flight, was not broadcast live. After reaching a maximum suborbital altitude of 209 km, the rocket stage hit the ocean 429 km southeast of Jeju. <laughs> KSLV 3 KSLV-3 was initially designed to launch geostationary satellites of 6 tons, and to enter service in 2023. Due to the development of the small launch vehicle SSLV, KSLV-3 is changed to GOSLV, with a payload of 3T to GEO. Development Topic. Engines development The core stage will powered by four KRE-90 engines of 90 tons thrust, plus four liquid boosters each with a KRE-90 engine. The second stage will be powered by a KRE-90V staged combustion cycle engine. KRE-010V, the Korean staged combustion cycle engine of 10 tons thrust had a 100-second burn test on December 6, 2018. It will be used as the upper stage, third stage engine of KSLV-3. KRE-010V engine KSLV-4 KSLV-4 was expected to carry the 64 tons class space stations modules. KSLV-4 scheduled to enter service in 2028 updated plan. Due to the development of the small launch vehicle SSLV, KSLV-IV will be no longer be developed. Topic: <laughs> Small launch vehicle SSLV By 2025 it should be able to put a payload of less than 500 kg to LEO. Topic. Solid fuel launcher On November 12, 2018, the South Korean government was discussing with its American counterparts, on its plan to develop solid fuel space vehicles, and comparable to the Japanese Epsilon rocket in performance. Topic. Korean Lunar Exploration Program As part of the National Space Promotion Plan, the Korean Lunar Exploration Program KLEP, is to develop the first lunar probe in Korea and secure the necessary base technology for lunar exploration, such as orbit, lander, science payload, and deep space telecommunication. The first stage is the development of experimental orbit lines which will be carried out to secure core technology for space exploration establishment of deep space networked, and international joint development of payloads. The second stage, the unmanned lunar orbiter and lander are developed and launched as Korean launch vehicle. The lunar probe will be equipped with mission equipment for analyzing the environment of the Moon and exploring resources such as scientific payloads, space internet, nuclear energy, and rover. Korea has secured about 70% of the core technologies needed for lunar exploration. In December 2016, Kari signed a lunar exploration technical cooperation with NASA which increased the possibility of exploration success greatly. A Korean Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter KPLO, is to be followed by a Korean Lunar Explorer KLE, which constitutes an orbiter and a lander unit equipped with a small rover with a mass of approximately 20 kg. The key goals of the Korean Lunar Mission are the investigations of lunar geology and space environment, exploration of lunar resources, and testing of future space and planetary exploration technology which will assist in future human activities on the Moon and beyond. The exploration is expected to begin in 2020. Topic. Satellite navigation 
CAS is the Korean model of satellite-based augmented systems (SBAS), a technology that is capable of reducing GPS error to less than 3 meters. Korea is expected to become the only seventh country in the world to own an SBAS, beginning in July 2020. This technological achievement is a prerequisite for Korea joining the G7. Topic: <laughs> Korea Multiple Purpose Satellite 3A. Korea Multiple Purpose Satellite 3A KOMPSAT 3A was launched on the 25th of March 2015 on a DNEPR-1 launch vehicle from the Jasny Komborovsky site in Russia. The purpose of the KOMPSAT-3A is to enable us to take advantage of Geographical Information Systems GIS in environmental, agricultural, and oceanographic sciences, and to facilitate natural hazards. The KOMPSAT-3A is equipped with two distinctive sensors, a high-resolution multispectral MS optical sensor, namely the Advanced Earth Image Sensor System A AEISSA, and the Scanner Infrared Imaging System SIIS. Topic. Smart Tilt Rotor UAV In late 2011, Kari unveiled its Tiltrotor unmanned aerial vehicle UAV that can fly at around 400 km per hour. Topic. See also Naro Space Center Korean Astronaut Program List of aircraft manufacturers List of career-related topics Government of South Korea NEASS NARO-1 <laughs>